making overpowered fusion Pokemon in Minecraft Pixelmon. The Smash MC server just added fusion Pokemon to Pixelmon, so we're gonna try and get our own legendary Pokemon fusion. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what your favorite fusion from this video is in the comments. So like I said, the Smash MC server now has fusions. You just type slash warp fusions and oh my look at this man i am actually so excited i've been waiting for these forever and oh my gosh and here we have kyogre and regilecki fused which is just so sick man i'm just imagining kyogre's bulk with regilecki's speed this is gonna be so broken of course it is a water and electric type oh, that is so cool man but let's move on to the next fusion which is lapras and torterra this is so sick it's got like the torterra shell on it i love this next up we have one of my personal favorites ho -Oh and Salamence. Oh my god. Of course, this is a fire and dragon type, and I just love how it looks, man. This is such a good fusion. And last but not least over here, we have Zerkatry and Deoxys. This is gonna be so broken. And this fusion, of course, is electric and psychic type. And we still have more fusions to go. Over on this side, we have four more, which are even cooler, I think. Right here is a Mega Charizard X and Agron fusion, which is is just perfect. It's a steel and fire type with the levitate ability, which is... It's not broken at all, but nevertheless, it is so freaking cool, man. Next up is a fusion of two legendary Pokemon. We have Rayquaza and Eveltal, the colors on this bro. This is another one of my easy favorites from this batch of fusions. It's just so cool, man. And of course, it's a dragon dark type, which is just perfect. Next up is the fairy and steel type Xerneas and Zacian fusion, which this just, it looks so perfect. The way the Xerneas horns look, on Zashian's head. It looks so natural. I love this one. But last but not least, and the fusion we'll be trying to get today is Garchomp and Groudon. Thankfully, it is just a pure ground type, so we don't have to worry about being four times weak to ice. But man, this is such a good looking fusion, bro. Even look at that. It's got Groudon's tail. This fusion is perfect, man. So if you're wondering how do I fuse Pokemon, basically you come over here to the fusion machine and it'll tell you right here what possible fusions you can make with your party. Obviously, we can't make them yet, but we could fuse our Rayquaza with an Eveltal if we catch one of those, but today we're going for Groudchomp. So you obviously need the two Pokemon for the fusion, but you also need a fusion key. And I was able to secure one for myself before the video, and thankfully we already got one of these on lock, so all we need to do now is catch a Garchomp. I should probably mention that we are back on the Kirim server where I recorded my 100 days with legendaries only, so that's why we have a Groudon. I just figured it'd be way easier than going to try and catch a ground on ourselves because that was awful but much like Groudon, Gibble spawns in the desert. I think the whole evolution line does, actually. So we kind of just need to RTP until we find a desert. Come on, desert. I know you want to appear. Hey, look at that. Hey, it wanted to appear. Uh I mean, I know Gibble's uncommon, but... <laughs> Like, it's really not supposed to be rare, but we just found two right off of our random teleport. And look, if we fail this gibble, we got a backup in the background. Look at him right there. That is actually too funny. We got 64 Ultra Balls. There's no way I'm not catching this gibble right now. Stay in the Pokeball. Don't make me attack you. I'm a level 100 Groudon. This isn't gonna go how you think. Just stay in the ball, gibble. I've caught in legendaries in less Pokeballs than now. Let's go! And just like that, we have caught ourselves a gibble. Yeah, gibble. Gibble and Garchomp, you guys gotta become the best of friends. So I guess all we really need to do now is level up this Gibble to a Garchomp. Thankfully, we don't have to do any EV training or anything like that. We can simply just level it up. But I'm pretty sure Gabite still evolves at like 45, so this could take a minute. But obviously, I'm not gonna bore you guys with training, so let's just cut to win for Garchomp. Hey, and just like that, Garchomp, oh, sorry. Gabite is level 48, but we are now evolving. And there we go. Our Gabite has evolved into a guard shop. Oh, wait, let me get rid of bite. Let's go, baby. And so we just make our way right back here. Oh my God. Dude, this is so hype. Click me to confirm. I'm clicking 100%. Oh, and we got Groudon over here. Guard shops over here now. Oh! The 
confusion. Well, oh my God, let's check this out right now. Look how tall it is. My boy's like 10 feet tall. Yo, grow shot, bro. That is too fire. Let's check its moves out real quick. It's got Lava Plume, Dragon Breath, Sand Tomb, and Fight. But the stats, though. Look at those stats, though. Oh, my God. 352 attack. That is actually crazy crazy bro but we're not done yet every fusion pokemon gets a signature move at level 100 so all we gotta do is slash warp mart head up here to the mover learner come on there we go terrestrial revolt i think that's what it's called yeah that is so freaking cool man let's get rid of sand tomb and now Let's go destroy something. Let's go destroy anything. Wismer, I'm coming for you, bro. I'm sorry. This is the worst day in the world to be a Wismer. Just look how freaking cool this is. Okay. The actual description of Terrestrial Revolt is that it's a 90 accuracy, 110 base power ground move that hits flying types. But now that we have gotten our ground chop, it's time to go show it off in battle, baby. And I can't think of a better way to test it out other than on someone who also has a fusion poke. Pokemon. I know this man right here has a fusion Pokemon. I don't know what fusion he has, but good luck, sir. Let's do this. And we're just leading off with our fusion. We got, well, apparently it's called Pixelmon.Grouch. Anyways, okay. We're just going to go for Terrestrial Revolt, okay? I threw a Choice Scarf on this dude. It's good. What? It's supposed to hit flying types. So I have no idea why that didn't work, but whatever. We'll go to our Suicune. It's okay. Yeah, here we go. We got Suicune out. Okay, we'll go for the Ice Beam. Yo! Oh my god, he's got the Kyogre and Regilecki. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this could get really bad really fast. I feel like he's gonna predict me to go back out into Groudon. I'm just gonna stay in. I'm going for extra sets. Okay, never mind. He just Thunderbolt and he one-shots us. So that's brilliant. I'm bringing my guy back out. If you want to go back out into Swellow, Whatever, but I'm gonna try and kill this fusion immediately. We need this fusion gone. Oh, the Blaziken comes out, but I can just kill that. Okay, sweet, Blaziken is gone. Going up against the Swamper who goes for Waterfall. Oh, that does a good chunk. I'm just gonna go for Moonblast here, and thankfully it also does a good amount, but this is low-key getting a little scary. All right, let's go to Rayquaza here. If I Dragon Dance, does he have any way to stop that? Waterfall gets a crit. Why did Extreme Speed fail? Oh, E-Speed failed because of the terrain. Oh, and hopefully the combination of Nasty Plot and Life Dew will be able- Oh my god, it just barely took it out. It just barely took it out. I'm going for Life Dew. Okay, I think I lose to Swellow. Wait, we're faster. Never mind. Never mind. All is well. We won! But our fusion Pokemon was strong. Whoa, whoa! He's riding the Kyogre. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.